when asked if he would fight Shaker Stevenson after defeating Frank Martin by knockout at his post-fight press conference. Davis was asked about fighting elite fighters. Shaker Stevenson has been a potential opponent for Davis for a year, so Stevenson was not happy about Davis dismissing the question and looked agitated. It has also come to light that many professional boxers have been warning tanks not to fight Shaker Stevenson because they believe the risk isn't worth the reward. But what is really going to happen with this fight will be Tank stepping up to the plate and giving the fans what they want. So make sure to stay tuned for all the updates. Tell your um, opponents, you know what I mean? And uh, where are the opponents at? I'm with it all. I mean, I'm at an age where it's all like, I'm, actually, I'm not dunking and dodging nobody. I could just shoot at whoever I've been myself. This, this one just about like you. Just get back in the mix. You know what I mean? Like that color, that's it. They get better and better. This is sure. it about support, like, you know, pretty much. Come on, bro. You know, you feel like you put Bill and Fight, but that, if you're good for boxing, it's all depends so they feel it. Yeah, I don't want to keep talking about nobody else. That's about it. Like, you know what I mean? After the Tank comments, Shakur Stevenson made an enigmatic post on X Tank, seems prepared to break things off with Shakur once more. Reports state that Tank has started talks to fight IFBF champion Vasily, which would be a significant step up in competition and possibly a more difficult match than Shakur. Make sure you activate the post notification bell and subscribe to the channel. You'll never miss any upcoming videos from Combat Sports World if you do this. The battles between Shaker Stevenson and Tank Davis have been spoken about for a long time. It would be exciting to see these two compete professionally because they enjoy picking fights. Online, fans have been sharing their thoughts about this fight through a variety of postings, such as, y'all are so slow. Why doesn't Shakur provide proof if you believe he is defeating Tank? The most dreaded fighter, Shakur follows. I think Shakur is even marginally faster than Tank, but Tank is skilled at taking the ring off and fighting in the pocket, and Shakur has no way of stopping Tank from getting close to him. Both men gained when Devin Haney moved up to 140 and gave up his four lightweight titles. After winning Stevenson's challenge against Edwin De Los Santos for the vacant WBC championship, Davis was elevated from WBA regular champion to full champion. The crowd wants to see the two go head-to-head -head after that, but according to Fight Hub TV, it would not be a smart move on Shaq Kors' behalf. Tony is a Hall of Famer and three-weight world champion. Well fought. Although Shaker Stevenson is a skilled fighter, he isn't prepared for that. You guys have no idea underscore underscore about boxing. Shakur is a young fighter, give him time to mature before moving, but now that Tank has gained momentum, it's unfortunate for Shakur because he might wreck his entire career but like Crawford did to Errol Spence Jr. Pauli Nolai. Naji kept praising Tank, but at the end he said that, even with the impressive performance, he still thought Stevenson would prevail. Davis appeared to be a wonderful man. Though I was really impressed with his performance and his ability to go on and win. Man, come on. Shaker Stevenson is an entirely unique offering compared to others. When shakers are present, the minor issues that Frank presented to Davis tonight are multiplied tenfold. There is far more intelligence and versatility in the big rangy southpaw. It's significantly dissimilar. All of this is because I'm interested in watching the battle. Davis, in my opinion, is also quite well suited for the match. Saying that I outperform Shakur. Shakur has always lost to me. Pauli Malaji chastised Tank in another interview for avoiding Shaq Kors Stevenson, stating that he knew it would be an extremely difficult battle for him. A Tank Davis can fight a guy who they picked up all from the diner. He knocks him out. Oh, it's great because he knocked him out. You know what I mean? But Shakur will fight a dangerous guy who's a puncher, beat him a little bit less impressively, and all of a sudden, ah, oh, no, we don't care about it. We don't want to see him. Okay, so then, then we'll keep get we'll get him diner diner workers too, and we'll, we'll Shakur so, will get some stoppages. He'll be aggressive and everything else. It's the same thing. Unfortunately, Shakur's recent lackluster performance against Edwin de los Santos has put a stop to any talk of a potential battle between these two. Shakur's involvement seems unlikely given Tank's most recent victory over Frank Martin, which solidified Tank's status as one of the finest lightweight fighters. For this reason, many have been led to assume that Tank's next opponent will be Vasily. Although Elena is skilled, I doubt he can survive 12 rounds without being caught by an uppercut or left overhand. Since LMA can cut off the ring and has good footwork, I believe he has a chance to win. However, since Tank also excels at footwork, 
I think Tank will win. I'm excited to count all the air out because this fight is going to be amazing. He can still dance before we go any farther in the video. What do you guys honestly think could happen if Shocker Stevenson and Tank Davis were to play each other? Will Tank live up to the hype and defeat Shakur with another Hecklight genuine knockout? Or are you on the side of most pros who think Shakur will win? Please leave a comment below. According to former world champion Timothy Bradley, Shakur Stevenson would definitely win a matchup between himself and Tank Davis in a squared ring. I promise he will. You're aware that he possesses it. He is unique. Tim Bradley said he thought Shakur Stevenson had a lot of potential. Would he be the one to defeat? Inquired another reporter. It will be him who defeats Tank. Do you believe Bradley answered right away? Yes, he did really say, call me hate, it doesn't matter to me. Yes, indeed, you persist in pursuing me. Continue to sow hatred. Continue spreading hatred, darling. I adore it. Continue bringing it. He does indeed defeat Tank. He effortlessly outboxes him. No issues at all. Shakur Stevenson is often criticized for being unaccomplished and without a strong resume to support his claims. Shakur claimed in an earlier interview that he is far more accomplished in the boxing world than Tank. Many people like to claim that you haven't faced many of the best fighters, but how can I not have experience if I'm more accomplished than this guy? On the other hand, many people may claim that you lack experience, and on your side, you can also claim that people are afraid to fight you. I am a 3-8 world champion and, to be more precise, a world champion Tank had 1-2-2 belts throughout his career. That is, he held the WBA at 130 pounds, which is the only title he has ever held. However, if you really look at it, his opponents don't even want to fight me. I mean, they tried to get Pitbull to fight me, but he didn't want to fight me. However, from the perspective of the Tank team, you can understand why they are delaying this bout. Although he is undoubtedly more accomplished as a three-weight world champion, he doesn't yet have a well-established name. Therefore, if he wins on July 6th, it will be the ideal time to match up a tank. There is no contest between the two best boxers and Davis. One of the most defensively sound boxers in the game today, Shakur, prefers to slip shots and deliberately score with his quick combinations, so there's an interesting clash of styles. In order to win fights, Tank has a history of analyzing his opponents and waiting for the right opportunity to land one of his devastating power punches. Is Stevenson able to avoid being hit in 12 rounds? In a sport that misses far too often, it's a question that deserves an answer. In the elite contests, two-time super middleweight champion David Benavides stated to a millionaire player that he thought Davis would win if all went according to plan for both fighters. Although I believe they are both excellent fighters, Garrett Davis also advised Davis not to fight Shucker Stevenson due to the possible damage the fight could do to his career. What results from these recent fight allegations will only become clear with time. When the time comes, will Tanks take on an elite fighter? Shakur weather tanks with electricity in any case, hopefully this is the fight that the two will engage in next. The video for today is now complete. To ensure you never miss a future upload, make sure you subscribe to Combat Sports World's future videos and enable the post notification bell. I'll see you in the next one until then.